everybody, it's Miss Philly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. We are doing a thrift haul video for you. Are you excited? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. <coughs> okay, so before we get started, I wanted to show you some stuff that came. It's not really part of the thrift, but it was free, so I guess it's kind of like a thrift. But you guys remember I went to the Justin Timberlake concert. <coughs> I didn't know I had a VIP ticket because they sent me VIP merchandise, so that's kind of like weird. Um, they sent me this poster this poster it's like on a cardboard ish kind of material i kind of want to have it framed but i kind of wish i had him autograph it but it just says well it doesn't say anything it's just a picture of justin timberlake and it says winnipeg so that was a good little souvenir trinket and it's number 38 of 400 oh, special and then this little kind of postcard thingy or like cardboard thingy they sent that too which i guess is from the winnipeg concert i guess it's from winnipeg that's kind of cool so other than that um you can see it in the frame here i decided to kind of bring it with me because i just wanted to include it in the hall because it's such an amazing deal we picked up this hoover speaking of hoovers i'm a hoover professional <laughs> but um yeah we got this hoover uh, this hoover vacuum such an amazing deal it was 50 dollars, and then i got 20 percent off so i basically paid like 20% off of $50. Because <laughs> we had to exchange that Fitbit thingy from Nike because it was missing the USB plug. But whatever. Um, when I was standing in line, the ladies were looking at like this section portion. Hold on, I'll show you. Like this part. And they're like, it is so clean. Like it looks like it hasn't been used. Because usually when you have a vacuum that's been used, this part here is like all grimy and dirty. But there's like nothing. Look at that. It's like, it's cleaner than my mouth. <laughs> So it came with that attachment and it also came with like this attachment for like whatever. And then I think it's missing an attachment here. Oh no, no, this is like the, I don't know what this is. It just goes up. Then it has this plastic bag. Let's take this plastic bag off Ugh, and see what else it comes with. Come on, and I tested it, so yeah. Okay, let's see what else the goodies it comes with. But I, I checked online and the reviews aren't the best, but I mean, it's a pretty good section. And I looked and it was like $300 on CanadianTire.com. Canadian Tire is like a Canadian version of like Home Depot, I guess. So, okay. Ooh, and it comes with like all these attachments. Look at this. It comes with like this attachment and it comes with this attachment and it comes with an extra filter and it comes with the instruction booklet so like that is like a deal and a hizzle okay deal and a hizzle okay that's kind of cool so i thought that was no i know that it is a deal and a half and it works well and i don't know if i want to sell it or resell it or keep it because i bought a, va a vacuum i bought a vacuum during black friday I think, or was it Boxing Day? And it was like $120. This was like only $40. Oh, see, the canister is super clean too. I mean, there's a little bit dusty because I used it in the store, but I mean, ooh, look at this. Look at that, look, look at the, see, look at that. Look how clean that looks. It's like literally never been used. Like literally, like literally. See? Look how clean that shit is. I'm gonna empty it in the garbage. Like who like let me like who donated this? Like did they just say, hey, I don't want to make any money. I don't want to sell this. I'm sick of this vacuum. I hate it like my ex-boyfriend. So I'm gonna donate it? Like is that how that happened? Like I don't know <laughs> how that works. I literally think this was used once or twice, like not even more than once or twice. And I'll show you in a sec wall.
So the reason I think this was like used once or twice was like, look at how clean that filter is. Like my Dyson, this was all clogged with like dust in here. I mean, there's a little bit of dust in there, but like nothing major. Like, like I was saying, like I was shouting over there, like who donates this? Like, were they like, I don't want this anymore. I think it's a piece of shit of a, <laughs> of a, of a thing. Like it's the, called the whole house elite pet from Hoover. Like, I can't comprehend how someone was just like, I don't want this vacuum no more. Let's donate this. Like, you must be a multimillionaire if you're going to donate this. Just just saying. I don't, I don't understand it. Anyway, <laughs> enough of the vacuum. But I don't know. Should I resell? Should I keep? Because I have my shark vacuum over there that I still actually haven't even uh, took taken out of the box. So, but yeah, this was a good deal. Ugh. There, do you see that? See, look at those brushes. There's like no hair collection tanglement. Ugh. Okay, that was that. <laughs> now we have a bag full of goodies. This I got for free, this Lululemon reusable bag, because they have bags on the, like, out before you leave the uh, Valley Village, they have like this container, like this bin full of reusable bags that you can grab if you want. And I usually check if it has uh, Lulu or like Walmart or Ikea ones because I grab those. Okay, so we picked this up today. I mean, we we were going to buy that Fitbit, but then I returned it. So I kind of feel like I wasted my 20% off coupon on these things, but whatever. I kind of like the color. It's the Lululemon uh, button up scarf thingy. So it's a cute color. I mean, yeah, I guess it's cute. I guess so. It's cute. It was a little bit pricey. It was like $24, but I basically paid $21 after discount. But um, I think these retail for like $80. And then at the outlet mall, it's $80, buy one, get one, 50% off. So it would have been like $120 for two, which would have been like $60 plus tax is what it would have been at the outlet. But I like this color actually, it's cute. It has like this kind of fluorescent purple on that side. Bought this, I paid a ba I basically paid like 60, I paid, oh, I'm so bad at math, $15 I guess-ish for this. I don't know, I might return it, but it's, I like the color, the color is cute, like pink, who doesn't love pink? And a little bit pricey though, $17.99, but. I use a 20% off coupon on this. And it has like, play it could be like a little wallet, I guess. And there's a back slip pocket too. I don't know, Coach isn't that popular anymore. People, like it doesn't resell well to my viewers, but it resells okay locally, I guess. I don't know, whatever, if I can clean it up. If I can clean that up, then I'll keep it. I don't know, I don't need that many pouches. So I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. Then we found this cup. H is for horny, or H is for humping, it's, uh, or happiness, or huge, <laughs> but it was $4, but I collect these mugs, Anthropology. did I have $2 off? No, because it had to be $2 off $500, $5, so I didn't get a discount on this mug, and this I thought was kind of awesome, it's, uh, I've never seen this kind of coin pouch from Danye, it was $6, it's, uh, like this kind of leopard print, real animal hair front, and then this leather backing on it. I thought that was really unique. And then it has like the keychain that you could hook onto something. And it says Danye on the uh, thing there, the pull tab, the zipper. And you can put credit cards, you can put cash, you can put a lot of shit in here, just saying. I really like this, it's very unique and it's very soft. And I paid $6 minus a $2 off coupon. So that's really unique. And then we got this one today. I paid $3.50 for it. It's a little bit worn, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. These are so popular, the wornness. There's, there's like no holes or anything, but I'm going to moisturize the shit out of it so that it's very smooth and soft and supple. But yeah, $3.50 for that one. And then we picked up these. Um, <laughs> uh, this whole bag was $2. So that was a good deal. And let's go open it now, okay. Sometimes, okay, I was over at my friend's yesterday and then she, I, I had like a, uh, a Bath and Body Works um, like this, but hold on, I'm gonna get it. 
I mean, she's like, you shouldn't be thrifting that shit. I mean, someone could be putting all that stuff in there or it could be expired. But she's kind of right because when you, she said they don't even make these bottles like this anymore. They're more rounded. But she, when, she, when I opened it, she was right. She's Because she told me that the fragrance and the sanitizer and the alcohol separate over time. And this is not even, like, this is discontinued. Like, these bottles are old. So when I opened it and I put it on my hands, it, she was kind of right. It really smelled like pure alcohol. Like, the scent is very faint. Like, there is still a scent, but it's very minimal. But it's almost like pure alcohol. So, I mean, it still does the job to sanitize, but I don't know. Whatever. I bought Mo anyway. So... We got Island Margarita and Rio Samba Sunset. And then, oh, a lip gloss from Clinique. I wonder if it's used. Island White Pineapple. And I think that's it. And then we got like this Clinique take the day off makeup remover. Unused, still sealed. So we could use that. Hopefully it's not expired. Then this, I guess if that was unused and this probably is unused, this Clinique lip gloss. Yeah, it's totally unused. Like look, 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 look. Okay, I just opened it. Like look how clean that is. If it wasn't clean, if it was used, it would be all smudgy and crusty and shit, but it's not. Smells normal. Like, look at that. Like, it hasn't even been pulled out because you can tell from the, the opening there, like the opening, <laughs> the circle opening, like there's no like smudging of lip gloss around that or in like the, in the, in the, inter in the interior. Whatever, I don't need to justify myself. It's new, okay? That's cute, yay! And then we got a, uh, oh, that's cute, an Essie nail polish in the color rock, frock and roll. That's cool. Oh, unused, unused, bitches, unused. That's a cute color, actually. Look, look at that. That's a cute color, Essie. And then the last thing we got is this Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Argan Oil Coupe. Kapwaku butter and goji berry juice leaves skin smooth, bright, and nourished. When was this made? This product was made by Anthony on September 14th, 2017. Used by November 18. Used by November 14, 2018. Best used fresh. Ooh. Ooh, this smells good. Sorry, my hair got in here. It is my hair. Hold on. Okay, this smells hella good. Oh, look at that. I can tell it's not used because it's been like sitting like that. I, can, I don't care what you say. It's not used, okay? I'm going to use it. I don't care. I thrifted some body products. Yo, just jealous. That was a deal and a half. $1.99 for all that. Like, hella. Okay, this is a little bit controversial because I'm like a cheating, lying business, okay? Um, <laughs> when my friend... Ask me about the bag. You saw it in the vlog. Okay, roll the clip, roll the clip. Oh, what's this? Roberta Cavalli, who's that? That's yeah, nobody, I think that's Zeller's brand. Oh. Are you gonna get it? I don't know. Not if it's just Zeller's. <laughs> I'd probably resell it. It's kinda cute. You want it? I don't want it. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> no. I asked her two times after if she wanted it, and she said no. Well, okay. She basically said no if it's Walmart. <sighs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm a cutthroat, lying, cheating bitch, and I'm going to cutthroat, lie, and cheat all the way to the top. I don't care. I'm going to be Madonna and sleep with as many people as I can to get my way to the top, except for just my way. Anyway, whatever. It's a Roberto Cavalli. I know who Roberto Cavalli is. I mean... Carrie Bradshaw, like, didn't, what is it? 
that episode where she was with Aiden and she's like, that's a Cavalli dress. And he's like, when are you going to wear that? And she's like, I wore it book signing Times Square. And it was like this really like cutty dress. Anyway, Roberto Cavalli, super expensive, high end. He's probably in the, in the range of like, I know, Carolina Herrera, uh, Versace, um, Missoni, Burberry. Like he's in kind of that here anyway we found well i didn't my friend found this bag but i snatched it from her like a wig um it's you could tell by the, just the quality of the bag it is really well made the leather is thick as fuck and i don't know if it's supposed to have like a missing if it's missing something here but it's a magnetic closure but you could hang like a pom-pom here or something cuteness anyway it's like that and then it opens up and then it's a zip top closure and I have it stuffed because it's not misshapen, but I want to get its shape back. Um, like inside it says Roberto Cavalli made in Italy, like right there, if you can see that. And it's like a suede lining. It's really pretty. Like, look at that bag. Like, look at that glazing. It's like really... That glazing is really, um, that glazing is like, that glaze, <laughs> that glazing is like really thick. Let's see. Super nice bag. Anyway, um, and it has like a crossbody slash shoulder strap, shoulder strap, and it's adjustable and it's like pebbled leather. Um, Roberta Cavalli bag bags are expensive. They're probably retail like in the thousands. I think they're like around 1500 to 2000 So yeah, it's a high-end bag. Sorry, best friend, and she's my best friend. She doesn't watch my videos, so it's not like she'll know, but I don't know. The only reason she'd, she'd want to get it is because she knows like if it's high-end, but I mean like at first glance when she was looking at it, she was like, no, I don't like that, so. That's how I'm justifying it, but it was probably unethical and immoral, but I'm an unethical, immoral kind of gal, <laughs> so whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the bag. Probably list it for sale. It's a great bag. It's very like Hermes-ish, and if you hang like a really cute uh, uh, bag charm in the front here, that would look even poppin'. Like something that's contrasting in color, maybe gold hardware, of course, but maybe like a pink or a white that will look really cute but yeah that's the bag <sighs> i'm sorry friend <sighs> that's the bag whatever it is what else <laughs> and yeah thank you for joining me today uh do you think it was wrong of me to kind of go behind my friend's back and like get the bag? Do you think it was kind of immoral? Do you think it was unethical? How do you feel about it? Do you not love me anymore because I did that? I'm sorry, but I have places to go and people to and you know money to spend and guys to buy and and you know luxury items to purchase and the world to travel and guys to marry and you know I, I have a, I have a dream. I have a dream and I tried playing with by the rules so. I'm not playing by the rules anymore. If I have to lie and cheat and steal and name and fornicate, I will do that to the best of my ability, okay? Guys, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, progressive, unethical, and immoral. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I love you. Bye. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> I totally forgot to show one more thing that we thrifted. The Chanel case for faux dollars. Faux dollars. And I like this case because I've never seen this case before, like in this color. I have this exact case in black, but I've never seen it in silver before. So that's kind of interesting. And I think this is specifically a sunglass case because it's super cute. Look at that. It's big and it can fit sunglasses. So this will totally fit my sunglasses that I have. There's a little bit of scuffing on the exterior, but like nothing major, major. Maybe I'll try and clean it up. But yeah, Chanel.